Oh my god. Oh my god. If you look into down below, you're gonna see all of France, like the biggest France ever. What's going on everybody? And today we have another sneak peek. Uh, this sneak peek kind of uh, covers uh, what has been a massive blow up a few weeks ago. Uh, we're gonna have a look at another Reich mod map. This one is one of probably the best and the longest, the biggest ever you've ever seen. Since the map is kind of huge and uh, at some point it's, it's really uh, amazing. And uh, first I will show you uh, level 1 I th I'll show you guys uh, Operation Burst and Burn. I did show you guys as well. But uh, today we're gonna see another one which is Fall Gap Invasion of France. Okay. So, first of all, no music. Why? Copyrighted as usual. Yes. Avoid copyrighted. Those are crazy cover. I mean, modders love their music. I do. I know. I understand. I support their decision. Uh, but uh, it's this point. They're going to get me copyrighted and I don't want any problem with them. Okay. So, you can see all of these stretch marks thing. And uh, city names are not yet done. This is just at a very beginning. And right now we are in Germany. And if you scroll out, oh my god, oh my god! If you look into down below, you're gonna see all of France, like the biggest France ever. Man, this is crazy. I mean, if if it's like you know, let's say you capture Paris, and if you play. Let's see. There's a event. Let's make let's let's make an event, which is quite easier. Let's say you capture. Let's say let's say this one is Amsterdam. Let's say you capture Amsterdam. All of Netherlands capitulated, and then if you capture Brussels, all of Belgium capitulated, and then if you capture uh through I think it's Calais or maybe at uh, uh Paris or something, you know, uh if you do that, you know, everything's fall. And then you establish Vichy France or maybe declare victory. There should be an event only where you can just uh, capture uh, Paris. And uh, last time I called this guy Sweden. No, it's Switzerland. I apologize. Uh, I didn't mean to say that, but it's just like it came out of my mouth eventually. And I also love the fact that we have a lot of mountains in uh, Switzerland. And also this borderline of mountain between France and uh, Italy. And uh, Spain is neutral. Thank you so much for making them neutral. Not everybody understand how it's hard to fight with Spain as another part. I mean, strategically, if Spain did involve in World War Two, trust me, the British would have lost. Why? Troops sending to Gibraltar to cut off the line, the entering of Mediterranean Sea, which means that the British can no longer uh, go into the Mediterranean except they're going through the Suez Canal and if the Suez Canal is being blocked by the Italian if they won the Battle of El Alamein World War Two is ended everything is done so Union is screwed even though they're fighting uh, for themselves still the Italians the Spanish troops and if if Turkey joined the war as well trust me they're dead for sure but luckily Spain were like chilling like I don't give a damn so do whatever you want and turns out everything was peaceful after all. So this is the uh, Reichmann. Uh, we can see the United Kingdom right here. We can also see uh, France at the top like this. And you can see this is a huge, huge, like most of the time when you play this mod, not really actually mod can cover everything. But I heard some criticism in which I also agree. It's not really a criticism. It's just like an idea. Like... Uh, if people play this, will it crash? Because last time I play Invasion of UK, uh, Operation Sea Lion, turns out when I reach at the shores, I reach around Brest, yeah, I remember, I reach around here, Brest, and then I maneuver my troops and all of those stuff, and then certainly it crashed, and I lost my all my progress, I, and I, I only uploaded the, the, the thing that I have played, because the other is not yet done. And many other also ask why there's Strasbourg here, why there's Tehran there, why is there's a Paris there. Well, this is all uh, parts of a, a texture hex editor, uh, in which I heard from uh, the Conqueror. The Conqueror also said that this kind of texture thing is crazy, it's hard, it's uh, boring. You know, you have to do it day by day, day by day, and it makes the person stressful. 
And if you ever heard Congress speak, trust me, he's really stressful. Even his, his the way of speaking, you know, also stressful. But anyway, it's part of the modding community. It's it's kind of chilly because we do all those stuff and we support one another. We support each other's works. We prevent uh, sort of a, a copyrighted. We work together. We interact. We work as a, a not really as a family, but as a player. People who enjoy history. People who love history. And uh, this is from Lucas Bro. So check him out. Link will be in the description to his channel. Subscribe to Lucas Bro. He's been uh, doing and making a lot of stuff lately. And this is France. Invasion of France. Man, it's huge. It's big. It's crazy. Let's see. Let's try. This is the Maginot. That's what they proposed, right? I do like one thing is that the damage are really good. You know, like you can just take it out one by one, one by one, which is easy, you know, just to take out the enemy. But uh, there's some problem right here. It's crossing the river. I just don't like crossing the river. And you also have three generals as well. You don't, you don't need to use the other. And you need just to capture area like this. And there we go. I was thinking of doing uh, uh, Blitzkrieg Poland, but let's see how it goes. Would have been nice, but it would take a lot of time as well, like I, I said many, many times again. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is a sneak peek of Invasion of Frank in the biggest map mod ever seen, made by Lucas Pro. Thank you guys so much for watching. Tick the bell notification for more video, and I'll see you guys next time.